Hi friends, I'm here with the yoga offering. As always, please do what feels right for you. You might end up skipping things, changing things, moving at a different pace, so you're taking care of yourself. Let's begin on our backs. You can come into a symmetrical, relaxed position. Go ahead and spread out. Either close your eyes or take a soft gaze and begin to slow down your breath. Welcome to keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you throughout your practice. Let's begin by sliding arms overhead, stretching out through arms and legs, fingers and toes, and then interlace fingers. Press out through your palms, flex your feet. Release, bring your right knee to your chest. Give that knee a good squeeze in. And then straighten the right leg up towards the ceiling, holding somewhere behind your leg. Flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle. A couple big circles, both directions. Bend your knee back in, open your knee out to the right, and then straighten part way or all the way out to the side, grounding down through the back of the left leg. Release, bend your knee. And bring it across, spinal twist. Staying in your twist, try straightening the right leg on a low diagonal, right arm on a high diagonal. Roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in. Take a little circle or rock. And then grab hold of just the left knee. Drop the right leg long. Squeeze this knee in close. And then straighten your left leg up. Flex and point your foot. Circle your ankle. In both directions. Bend your knee back in. Open your knee out to the left. And straighten part way or all the way out to the side, grounding down through the back of the right leg. Bend your knee, bring it across. A spinal twist, first with a bent knee. And then try straightening left leg on a low diagonal, left arm on a high diagonal. Release, roll back onto your back, 
bring both knees in, evening out your torso on your mat, and then drop feet to the floor, getting set up for a little bit of core work. Start by drawing the belly in, pressing the lower back down. Interlace fingers behind your head. Exhale, lift, head and chest up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Let's take two more. Last one. Release down, send your right leg up. Exhale, head up towards your leg. Inhale, head down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. One more. And then switch, left leg high. Exhale, head up, inhale, head down, up and down, up and down, up and down. One more. Switch again, right leg high, this time left arm across. Each time you exhale, reach a little further across. Last one. And switch, left leg high, right arm across. One more. And then release. Stretch long through arms and legs. <sighs> Bring your knees in. Circle or rock. And then make your way up to sitting. Let's come onto hands and knees, tabletop. If you want to pad your knees, you're welcome to. Hands right under shoulders, fingers spread wide. Knees under hips. And let's take a few rolls through the spine, starting by lifting head and tailbone arching, and then round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Now inhale, arch. Shift your weight forward, bend your elbows straight back, dip part way or all the way to the floor and press up from there, round. Arch. Go forward to dip down if going all the way is too much, just do it. it. Feels right. Maybe it's one or two inches and then push up from there. Round. Arch. Dip down. Press up. Round. Arch. One more time. Dip down. Press up. And then sink back to child's pose. Releasing. Hmm. With arms out in front of you. Walk your hands over to the left, and then pull back through the right hip, stretching right side a little more. Come through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left hip, stretching left side a bit more. Mm. 
coming back to center. Hmm. Let's lift up through table. Come back into a downward facing dog. Take your time. Maybe move around a little, exploring within the pose. How do you stay curious and present inside of something you've done so many times before? Can you keep noticing new things, being open? Let's walk hands and feet towards one another and hang in ragdoll. Feet hip width apart, parallel. And bend your knees a little or a lot. Bend your knees a little more, slowly roll up, coming all the way up to standing. Coming into mountain pose, Tadasana. Feet can be together or apart. Press your feet down. Bring hands together at the heart. Next inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. Let's take five deep breaths. Coming back through down dog step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. This time from down dog, take your right leg up. Bend your knee to your chest and start circling this bent right knee and the biggest circle you can make. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, circle your ankle a few times, big circles. Both directions. your leg a little higher and then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. 
And right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge, arms up. Settle in, sink low. Let's grab the left wrist, take it over, side bend. Same thing, other side, grab the right wrist, take it over. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back. Lift the heart, hips nice and low, chest high. Release arms up, tip forward, standing splits, hands to the floor or to a couple blocks. We'll do this with hips square, with the upper body letting go like ragdoll. Last breath. Step back, warrior one. Take eagle arms, right elbow on top. Lift the elbows, lift the chest, but hips low, tailbone dropping. Shift your weight forward, come onto the toes of that back foot, and then step into eagle, Garudasana. Knee on top of knee. Unwind, Ardha Chandrasana. Expanding one end to the other. Last breath here. Release. Make your way to down dog, however you want to get there. <sighs> From down dog, left leg sweeps up. Bend your knee and start circling. As big a circle as you can make. Try not to skip over the hard parts. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, circle your ankle. Take it a little higher and then left knee towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. Now right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge, arms up. Sink low, grab your right wrist, take it over, little side bend. <sighs> Same thing, other side, grab your left wrist. <sighs> back to center, interlace fingers behind your back, other thumb on top this time. Release arms up, tip forward, standing splits. And you're welcome to use blocks. You can bend the supporting leg, do what you need to do. Stretch that right leg as straight and long and high as you can. And let it be. Big step back, warrior one. Eagle arms, left elbow on top. (sighs) 
shift your weight forward, come onto the toes of that back foot, step into eagle. Unwind, Ardha Chandrasana. Last breath here. Release. Make your way back to down dog. Five deep breaths in down dog or child's pose or sitting or any other neutral shape. Come to hands and knees, tabletop, and we'll get set up for a twist, thread the needle. So from hands and knees, left arm lifts up. Curl from fingertips down and thread it right behind your right wrist and keep going until you come onto your shoulder inside of your head. You can push the right hand into the floor or into the bottom forearm or take the top arm up and back. Lots of variations of this. So Feel free to experiment, play around, find what's interesting. Release, unwind, come back to neutral. Take a few rolls through the spine arching and curving on your own time. <sighs> from tabletop, lift right arm up, curl from fingertips down, thread it through, come onto your shoulder inside of your head, and push the left hand into the floor, or into the bottom forearm. And then release, unwind. Take a few rolls through the spine. You can come back through down dog. And then let's come into a pigeon pose on the right side. Slide the right knee forward. Scoot back through the left leg. Help the hips get as low as they'll go. Feel free to set up any support, something under your hip or chest or forehead. Let's bring the upper body back up. If you have something under your right hip in your way, move it so you can lean to the right. And let's come into half hero on the left side. So I'm going to slide the left knee so it points straight ahead, left toes point straight back. You might roll your calf muscle out of your way. And then lean back onto the hands. 
tuck the tailbone, opening up the crease in the front of the left hip, and you can stay on your hands, or come down to just the right elbow, or both elbows, or all the way back. And at any moment, you might come further up or come further back, so you're staying at your edge, listening as that changes. release, let's lean to the right or roll to the right, straighten the left leg out, give a little rub to the knee or ankle or foot, working out any tightness from that last pose. And then find your way back to down dog. You might take a vinyasa, might just step back or move in some other way. From down dog, left knee comes forward, scoot back through the right leg. Hmm. And then release. To release, take your time, walking your upper body back up. If you have something under your hip that's in your way, move it so you can lean to the left, slide the right knee forward, setting up for a half hero on the right side. Tuck your tailbone. And you can come lower or stay higher, finding your edge where it is moment by moment. And lean to the left, straighten that right leg out. Give a little rub to the knee or ankle. And make our way back to down dog. You can use this transition to even out the two sides. Hmm. Come all the way through to sitting. And come onto your back, bring your knees in, take a little circle or rock with your knees, massaging the lower back and sacrum into the floor. Hmm. 
and then drop your feet to the floor, getting set up for bridge. Feet hip width apart, parallel, press your feet down, lift your hips high. Once your hips are high enough, interlace your fingers behind your back. Shrug your shoulders underneath you, spreading upper back and lower back away from one another. Take your arms out of your way, roll down and rest. If you want to come up again, come up again. Same thing or any other back bend. So you could do a supported bridge, you could do half wheel, full wheel, anything else you know or want to try. Just really listening to your body. When that pose feels complete, come out of it. Hmm. Let's take happy baby as a counter stretch. Grab the soles of the feet, press your knees towards the floor. And this can be done in stillness or with a little rocking. You can Keep your legs bent or straighten them one at a time or together, part way or all the way. And then just check in with your body. What's needed for you? to feel complete in this practice. Is there any last pose or stretch? Something you want to do to wrap things up? And it might be a yoga pose, but it might not be. Maybe it's just some movement or touch or exploration of some kind. Whatever you're doing, feel it. <sighs> And give it the time it needs. Each time you finish, you can ask again, what now? when nothing else is needed, get comfortable in your final resting pose, Shavasana. Feel free to grab props or make any adjustments to your clothing or your body. And then settle into stillness, letting go of all the doing.
slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. And take a big stretch out through arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. And roll to one side, pausing there for a moment. And use your hands to help you up to sitting. We'll bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a good rest of your day.